Hey Glow Lovers, it's Ariel from Sephora at the Parks Mall in Arlington, Texas. It's summertime, and you know what that means. It's time to whip out our favorite bronzers, our summer blushes, and all of our glowy and radiant essentials. If you wanna see how I get my bronzy, radiant summer glow, keep on watching. With my complexion already done off camera, I am taking Lancome's Dual Finish Multitasking Longwear Powder Foundation in the shade 540 Suede Warm. I love using this product as a bronzer because as someone who loves full coverage, I like my coverage to remain, and this powder as a foundation helps build coverage as well as bronzing. Using Sephora Collection's number 59 brush, I am pressing the product right underneath my cheekbone and then following by diffusing it. I like to spread the color out because it is important to remember that the sun does not just tan you under your cheeks, it tans you all over. To keep a seamless blend, as you can tell, I move my brush in a one directional blend. This keeps everything from getting too muddy and building up the product where it doesn't belong. I like to keep the product on the outside of my face, so I'm going to apply it on the outside of my forehead, the outside of my cheek, and the outside of my jaw. When you're thinking about the shape of your bronzer, think about the number three. The same shape the number three makes is the same shape you want your bronzer to be placed. Inwards at the top, inward in the center, and inwards at the bottom. I'm applying it with the same technique to the other side. I love this product because since it is a foundation, it gives me a long lasting all day wear, which is perfect for the summertime. Now ladies and gentlemen, we can't forget our ears. Next, I am taking Buxom's Wanderlust Primer Infused Blush in the shade Mykonos. Because this blush is infused with primer, you don't have to worry about your blush fading throughout the day. I'm using the Sephora Collection number 59 brush to apply my blush right above my bronzer. I'm just sweeping this on top of my cheeks, creating a nice, soft, gorgeous blend. Now when applying your blush, you have to think about where the sun kisses you. The sun kisses your cheeks, your forehead, your nose, and your chin. So don't be afraid to use your blush, ladies. Next, I'm taking Artist Couture's Diamond Luxe Luminizer Pressed Highlighter in the shade Hot Damn. I absolutely love this highlighter because it packs the same glow power as the sun. I'm going to start my glow by using the number 50 Sephora Collection brush to apply the product liberally throughout my face. This is to ensure that my face has a glow all over and not just in concentrated areas. Another reason I love this product is because it has a sheer feel to it, but a gorgeous glow. I'm then going to take my Sephora Collection number 98 brush to concentrate the highlighter in the places the sun hits the best. I like to place a highlighter concentrated on the top of my cheekbone, right above the center of my eyebrow, on top of the bridge of my nose, and on the bottom of my chin. You can definitely tell where this highlighter gets its name from, because hot damn. Going back into my Mykonos blush with my Sephora Collection number 59 brush, I'm making sure that my glow gets melted right into the skin. For added intensity, I'm going into my Huda Beauty The Nude Nude Eyeshadow Palette and using the shade Crave on a Sephora Collection number 98 brush. I'm then gonna take the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dewy Set Setting Spray using a small amount on the brush and a small amount over my face. I'm gonna focus applying this product only in the places I want my face to directly reflect the sun. As you can see from one side to the other, how gorgeous this is. Next, I'm taking the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist on a Sephora Collection Cloud Cover Large Powder Puff. By spraying the Tatcha Mist on this powder puff, I'm able to concentrate where I get glowy without adding any oils to my T-zone. This is perfect for any of you who are oily. I'm dry, but it's still the perfect way to get my glow. To complete my fully radiant look, I'm taking Huda Beauty's Nymph, also known as Not Your Mama's Pantyhose, all over body highlight in the shade Aurora. Using a couple of pumps of our highlighter, and I'm gonna spread that across my decollete. I'm gonna work the product in, making sure that there are no streaks left behind because this product is waterproof and transfer proof. So the minute it's dry, it's down for good. With a glow product like this that dries the way it does, you wanna make sure that you work quickly. Using the warmth of my hands, I'm ensuring that there are no harsh lines or harsh edges. Going back into my Audrey Couture Diamond Lux Luminizer, I'm gonna highlight my shoulders and my collarbones. By doing this, we're able to add glowy dimension to the body. Now that we're glowing, ladies, it's time to hit the summer sun. Thank you guys so much for getting radiant with me. I would love it if you'd go down, like, subscribe, and then comment down below what are your favorite summertime blushes, bronzers, and radiant products. Until next time, bye.